Alright, yo, what's up guys? Uh, so again, my buddy's been asking me a lot about the desert, how to get around villas, and kind of just what to do in Valencia. Um, a lot of people are still stuck at Pirates, uh, Salsons and places like that are not real sure how to do Valencia, how to get around Valencia, all that. So, first off, get yourself a camel. Um, definitely try and get you one with quick steps. Uh, this skill was recently um, buffed, I guess, or adjusted. So quick steps is forward and shift, requires a saddle. It basically makes your horse kind of have like a sprint, or your camel come with like a sprint. It's actually really nice, it's pretty fast. Um, so it makes getting around really easy. So first off, villas. The desert has villas. They cost five mil in gold bars to purchase for a single week. And you can repurchase them week after week. You can purchase as many as you want. They each cost five mil. <clears throat> then they give you a daily that differs differently with each villa. Some are kill, like say this villa right here. This is uh, Kunin's villa, it's over here by Bassies. You want, you gotta kill a certain amount of Bassies, you, you can have it. And the one I'm using currently is the Amir's villa, which is over here by the Bashams and Morgans. So essentially, you walk up there with your five mil gold bars, you hand it to the guy outside, he lets you in. There's a daily on the inside. The daily quest is repeatable every single day, that's a daily giving you two to 300 contribution XP and 500K in gold bars, so five gold bars. Um, if you do the quest every single day, one, it's great contribution, two, it can help offset the cost of the villa. Um, and then while you're doing the kill quest, if you're like killing the mobs, gathering the, I, I kill the wargans, so gather their blood, sell the blood, sell the trash they drop, <clears throat> and they also drop a good amount of blackstones because there's elites there. Um, and that actually will completely pay for the villa. So the villa basically has no cost. It's a wash. Then there is a cost to the buffs you want to buy. There's combat XP, AP, there's grapple resistance, 10%, and ignore knockdown resistance, 5%. So basically you can grab all these buffs you want um, for different reasons. Say for node wars, you want to grab that AP, that grapple, that ignore. You don't need combat XP. But say you're going to go out and grind, you know, Fogans or Nagas or uh, Crescents. Grab the combat and an AP. And it can help you in what you're doing. And then you can grab the nodes and go over here and grind. It doesn't really matter. Um, but there are some over here by Crescents. This one's combat and HP and um, the same as before. Also within these villas, there is safe zone. You can't get hit by, or not a safe zone, inside your own. It's fine. But you can't get hit by uh, <clears throat> desert debuffs or any of that. You can repair, you can sell, you can um, currency exchange, all that great stuff. Uh, so what I'm currently using right now is Amir's, and then here's Oberyn's, which is skill XP and max HP, and I grind and Pilaku gel. So those two help me out. There's actually some other ones over here, skill XP, Amity gain, uh, life XP, and energy recovery. It actually helps you gather or recover more energy while you're gathering or something. So if you're actually wanting to gather all day or all week and you need energy, it's precious to your, um, your resource to you, what you're doing in-game. Grab one of these villas, keep the buff up, 300k for three hours, that's nothing. I mean, we, we, you, you make that simple. Uh, this one over here is really good, life XP and DP and knockback resistance. So I believe it's 10 DP, so say you're going to an area where you're farming and you're just not really able to do, their, do well there yet, grab the 10 DP um, and maybe enough to really get you over that hump. <clears throat> so that's villas. Uh, awesome, awesome, awesome thing in game that you can use. I use them daily and they definitely help. So, getting around the desert uh, is super easy with your mini map. Your mini map uses cardinal directions. So, when you go east on your mini map, you're heading towards Valencia. When you go west, you're heading back towards Sandgrain. So, essentially, you're about to go in the desert. Where do you want to go? Let's say we're going to go to Crescents. Well, Crescents is down here to the southeast. So on your mini-map, point southeast, press T, and it's going to start walking you southeast. And once you get close to there, you can generally find your way in. The easy way to find Crescents is there's a giant snow-capped mountain and an encampment with a huge donut out front. There's three entrances to Crescents. So kind of familiarize yourself with those um, landmarks, and you're good. So really easy to find. Um, if you want to go out towards Fogans, Fogans has all these palm trees and it's just past Crescents. 
So as soon as you start seeing palm trees, start going deep into them, and boom, you're in there. There's, I think, five entrances to Fogans. Pilaku, all the way out there, there's these two large little mounds of sand right on the edge of the desert, and behind it's Pilaku, and there's a villa right next to it as well. <clears throat> so you just use these little tips to get around. And then when you're going through the desert, you point a cardinal direction. Here's Abstinence, here's Illa, here's Pilgrims, there's, you know, there's Sincerity, there's Sharing, there's, there's different things out here in the desert, the Purity that can help you be as landmarks. So all you gotta do is point in that general direction of it, and then you'll find it. And if you get kind of lost and you're off to the side, say you're off near the desert, or the, 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 the rocks, bring out one of your pets that has the gathering resource, special ability, turn it on, put a pickaxe on, pickax on and um, it'll ping on the map the node. Well, if you open your map when it pings, it'll show you on a red little dot where you are. So that's kind of a way to kind of figure out where you are in the map. That doesn't really work out in the middle of the desert because there's nothing to gather. That'll help a ton. Um, as for spots to grind within the desert itself, you have Nagas right here, Crescents, Fogans, Pilaku, uh, excuse me, uh, you have the two random portals, well the random portals that can take you to their History of Ruins and or Achman. Um, I've done videos on Achman. Histria, not yet. I need about 300 DP before I do that. There's also Sulfur Round Works, which we're getting an update for. Korea just got one. Uh, they buffed the density. I think they changed something else as well. I'm not 100% sure. But the density got buffed here. Density's already good. So this is actually probably going to become a great farming spot um, for the classes that can zoop zoop around and just do huge clearing. Your mooses, your rangers, your sorks, um, zerkers. You guys are going to love it up there. Um, so yeah, Valencia, it, it's not that scary. It's not that hard to get around. It's actually really, really easy. Once you use your mini-map, point the cardinal direction, start finding little things in the, in the desert that can be, you know, landmarks for you. When you're running through and you come up on sharing, you say, okay, here I'm at sharing, I'm going to come this direction. Now all i got to do is just go to the west and I'll go straight to sand grain. So learning little, little tidbits like that makes it so easy to get around. Um, I farm out here 24-7. Um, and I love it. My favorite place to farm is Pilaku. I find that I can average about six mil in silver an hour there, with drops on top being scrolls, um, broken sisal necks since I haven't gotten one yet, uh, black magic swiftness, and, and that, that's and the likes. So, like, look right here. I'm coming up on something. This is going to be um, sincerity. So, as I go through it, the mini map will tell you what it is. Um, so, this makes the desert really easy to get around. So. Get you a camel, and here's the one with quick steps, some of the fast it is. This is just the normal camel, not even the brown one, where you can trade uh, horses in. You trade enough horses in, um, you get, I think it's 15 seals, and then you can buy the brown camel, level up to 20, and then the brown camel will get to learn quick steps. It's actually even faster than this horse and better turning. So, check it out. I recommend coming to the desert. Um, since pirates and salsons and all these places can kind of get boring, repetitive, and a little bit overrun with karma griefers and all that. So um, I'm making some other videos here soon. I got some other ideas I'm working on. So definitely um, appreciate you guys watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thanks.